a common thing that I have heard, I say common, like I just see it all over the place. Um, I haven't had as much interaction with street epistemologists as some. A question that's been placed to me, let me put it that way, is that if there is all of this evidence for your belief, then why is it that so many other people don't see it? I mean, if there's all this evidence and it's so obvious, why, why don't other people believe it too? Well, I mean, the, the first thing I would want to say is, well, I th- think there there is a lot of people that believe in Christianity. There's billions of people. Um, <coughs> but that uh, let's let's put that that aside. So here's here's one here's another similar kind of question that we could ask. Well, if there's so much evidence for a round Earth, you know, why do flat Earthers not see it? Or if there's so much evidence for equal rights, why don't people living in Saudi Arabia see it? I mean, the, the answer to these questions, I don't I don't know. I mean, we. We don't always know why people don't come to the same conclusions as us. That's, I don't know what we can draw from this, like rationally or logically. What what follows from that? I mean, it's just a question that that you might wonder about. But that doesn't, I mean, it doesn't entail that Christian belief is unjustified or false or anything like that. And here's here's one explanation that that Christians give or that the Bible gives, and that it's a very simple question. It's sin. Is that the reason why people don't believe? in Christianity or in God is due to something like sin. They just, uh, they want to do their own thing. They are in rebellion against God. And right. that's, that's the explanation. You might not like that explanation, but that's the one that Christians give. And that's the one that the Bible gives. So, I it's mean, a, it's a very unpopular answer among unbelievers. Yeah. Well, here's the thing though. So sin really works on the subconscious level a lot in, in a lot of cases. I mean, no one, Maybe there are people who go out and just consciously sin all the time, but sin operates a lot on the subconscious level, and so we can be sinning and not be consciously aware of it. And so the person who denies that could be doing it sincerely, but they just wouldn't be aware of the fact that it's it's due to a subconscious desire to sin. And so yeah. that's actually compatible. So, so someone saying that, oh, well, no, I, that, that doesn't apply to me, that's actually compatible with, with the view or with the with the theory right. itself, because and some that's exactly what you would expect someone to say. Yeah, and there's who's some subconsciously in sin. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and there's some who have flat out admitted it. Right? There's been some popular atheists who have said, "I don't want there to be a God because I don't want someone telling me what to do." You know, I I, I don't want there to be an all powerful being peeking into my bedroom. I want to do whatever I want to do and not have to answer to him. I mean, the, some of them have flat out said it. Right, so we know it's at least the case for some. And I think one thing that right. also gets into this, I, I would say, as I've been kind of reflecting on this, our filters through which we accept or dismiss uh, evidence and, and kind of see, you know, a- add up to form our beliefs, uh, get filtered through things that are, are deeply seated in our way of thinking. The, things that we don't even understand. This is one reason why uh, Christians, uh, Christian parents uh, tried so hard to keep um, uh, secular, atheist, materialistic kind of thinking from being ingrained in their children. An interesting, and this is just anecdotal, but every atheist who used to be a Christian that I've ever talked to, who have told me their journey from Christianity to being an atheist, they... Um, they will admit, or, or at least I, I see it in the progression of their story, that by the time they stopped believing, they, they had already years before adopted a naturalistic point of view so that any evidence for Christianity that isn't materialistic, naturalistic, science, you know, kind of empirical evidence is just isn't going to count. And so I think some of it, you know, hey, if there's all this evidence, why don't people see it? Well, I think part of it is their condition to not see it. Think well, I mean, if anyone is, is really, really determined, you can deny pretty much anything you want to deny. It doesn't matter yes. how much evidence you give in support of it. I mean, there there are conspiracy theorists all over the place who deny all sorts of things. And, and I mean, you could explain that by just that's what they want to believe. Um, so, I mean, the fact that some piece of evidence isn't universally convincing everybody who is alive, that I mean, not uh, to me, not a whole lot follows from and, and I think it's complex. Human beings are complex. I don't think there's any one answer to this question. All right. right. I think we about got that one sewed up.